the day of doom is coming. Your blood will turn white. Your face will turn green. Your eyeballs will pop with pressure. And because our Doomsday Show is the living end. Forge your strength. Take a shot. You're going to need an awful lot. When you see our shocker pictures, so terrified that it is easier to die than to live. Oh, wow! Come if you must, but make your wills. Say your goodbyes, for soon you may be up in the skies. Doomsday is coming to me. From the popper. There are other treats for you too, such as fresh candies and ice cream. Visit the refreshment center now. Enjoy a delicious snack and ice cold Coca Cola. Gene, this coffee is delicious. Do you know that? Mm -mm. It's not the same kind we've been using, is it? Mm -mm. Don't just shake your head. Explain why the coffee's so good. Mm -mm. This coffee is delicious. Mm-mm. Gene, this coffee is delicious. Do you know that? Mm-mm. Don't just shake, shake your head. Explain why the coffee's so good. Good taste. Tastes good as fresh perked. Instant Folgers. It's really delicious, and we know you'll enjoy it, too. At our refreshment stand, you'll find these pizza pies, freshly baked mm, to your order. Hamburger. Make sure you get yours and enjoy it now. Like you crave that corn when it's freshly bobbed. You gotta beat it to the box with the butter on the top. Don't hesitate, mate. Make that scene. Get eyes for the coolest and big some ice cream. Get with it, man. Start strolling down to the sweets that you're rolling. The best in town. Our candy's real gone, if I'm understood. To all you squares, that means the confection is positively delicious. Stuff. Give me five, let me send you into this nutty jive. Well, the cats go cool for the dog that's hot, and the burgers are the biggest. Dad, that's a lot. Go, man, go, it ain't very far. Shake it on down to this cool snack bar. Come on, Jill. Give us a treat, a friendly pepper upper with a tasty beat. Drink Dr. Pepper, Dr. Dr. Pepper, cause it never lets you down. Frosty, man, frosty.
now, ladies and gentlemen, time for the show. Once again, thank you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. The refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink. We'll make an announcement before the stand closes to give you plenty of time to get that last minute treat. Hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday. How's it going? I'm here with MJ today. Uh, I'm very low in the frame here. She's hanging out. Happy Wednesday. Let's get to Nancy. Yes. Yes, I'm very excited. I'm, I'm so excited. I hope you feel better, Jimmy. Second live stream. Glad you made it. This should be mm, exciting. I'm gonna fall asleep during the stream. Okay, okay. So, so last stream, I was falling asleep. <laughs> I was falling asleep. I filmed a video and then I played some Nancy and I uh, got bored and uh, I started falling asleep. But we're. I'm gonna reset today. I'm gonna give the uh this game another shot maybe it just seemed horribly boring at the time maybe it isn't actually boring maybe i'm dropping shit himbo prime thank you for the 10 month sprout stuff thank you for the 86 months owns a boat thank you for 41 months both of me to assume it should be fine. It should be fine. I just got to get past the trivia shit. I'm hoping that once I get past the trivia shit, I'm always grooving, man. The rest of the game will like pick up. It'll be more about the thief that we uh, mildly care about right now. Sam Dub One, thank you so much for the six dollars and change. Can't wait for more Nancy. Hopefully, fully awake this time. Also, love the shirt. Yes, I am. Uh, I'm rocking the it's it's locked shirt. Uh, our favorite Nancy Drew quote is it our favorite? I guess it is our favorite Nancy. It's up there. And now I will be able to unlock the secrets of uh, the Mayan people. Oh. And you know I want to make sure that that we were you know this my boredness is not you know indicative of how I feel about the Mayans' history, I would be bored if about just about any <laughs> just about any museum in this game. If I'm running around just collecting facts, I'm going to fall asleep. Dreaming Detective, hey, that's going to be me. Thank you for the four months. Eddie W, or Edel, Edel, Idol W, <laughs> thank you for the 17 months. Silent Lucidity, Thank you for the 29 months. Love the last treasure hunt vid. Can't wait to see your next movie review with Luke. Yes, that's what I was uh, That's what I was working on before I got here. Been editing down that video. I think it should be good. Yeah, MJ's definitely going to fall asleep this stream. Definitely. Uh, Intensiate. Thank you for the 16 months. Dork Sided Jesus. Thank you for the prime sub. And Larry Fishburne, thank you for the six months. Hello, Moose. My first Nance live stream. Listening to any new music lately? Not really. Uh, when I, I, I've been putting on music to uh, work to, I've just been looking up uh, uh, like um, N64 long playlists of just like different music tracks. Uh, so nothing really new. Am I going anywhere for Thanksgiving next week? Not, I don't think so. <laughs> Not to my knowledge. Nope. I'm going to put up Christmas decorations on Thanksgiving. Hot dog sweet. Thank you for the 11 months. Oh, wow. Haley M. Dorit. Dority. Dority. Thank you for the six-month, six-month anniversary. Thank you for half a year of laughs and chill vibes. Looking forward to the future Brutal Moose Museum. 
Uh, and thank you for including your uh, your last name pronunciation. Half a year, but now I know. Now I know it's Doherty. Okay, all right. Let's let's get going. We gotta we gotta get going so I can get done <laughs> with this game. Mm, delicious. Or at least get through this part of the game. Right? The rest of the game is going to be... Oh, <laughs> I'm so sleepy. Uh, the rest of the game is going to be very exciting. I've, ar I've already decided. What up, Joy? I need to savor it? I don't want to savor it, though. <laughs> I don't want to savor it. Okay. Okay, last thing I remember doing was getting on the computer and being very uh, intimidated. Oh, no. What was the password? Oh, fuck. It was something about the... Something about the candy bar. Uh... Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What was the what was the shit on that candy bar? It was a cow. Oh, la. No. Coco Coco Kring. Coco Kringle. Okay, Coco Kringle. Okay, so I found a bunch of stuff here, and I was like, I don't want to read this shit. Even now, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I wrote some of this down. I wrote I wrote this part down. Uh, oh my god, I'm already just like... I miss working at the sandwich shop. Uh... Sonny's, I'd rather be counting sheep guide to the Maya number system. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to start taking notes. Welcome to the note-taking stream. Hey, little rosebuds. Thank you for the $6 and change. Finally started playing old school RuneScape, and I'm going to blame you, even though it was general peer pressure. I, I'm fine with that. I'll take the blame. Being blamed for things is fun, right? <laughs> Uh, okay, okay. Maya number system. Maya number system. So we gotta... Uh, we gotta figure out the number system so I can do the number puzzle in the museum. Had about 30 minutes left in the VOD, but you feel like you didn't miss anything. I'm, I was probably just sitting there doing this. Uh, zero looks like a turtle shell, but no turtle. Okay. Turtle. Hey, speaking of turtle, I still have my uh, my copy of Master of Disguise right here. Um, best movie ever. This is a brand new VHS copy. Uh, still sealed. So I can't wait for this to go up in, in price someday. I brag about my collections, yes. <laughs> Spoiler alert for when I can't be my next video. It's sealed. Uh, turtle, no shell. Uh, one dot equals one. I could have figured that out, I think. Two dots equal two. One bar equals five. Picture this. Each dot is an individual fingerprint. Uh, greasy from spicy wontons. And the bar represents the whole hand, like a set of five fingers. Okay, addition, I can handle. Here's the catch. If it doesn't look exactly like a dot or a bar, it doesn't count. Squiggles, ovals, incomplete dots, crooked bars, chocolate bars, mini stars, horseshoes, shamrocks, diamonds, half moon, scribbles, dribbles. None of these count. Also, the Maya often put decorative marks next to their numbers 
So ignore anything that's not a bar and or dot. Okay. Not complete dot slash bar equal no count. Uh, some gods also represent numbers. They're pretty tough to pick out at first, but they'll grow on you just like mold on cheese. Uh, one hun has fish lips, a really big nose, and a set of good teeth. Oh, do I have to write all this down? Let me think. Do I have to write all this down? Oh, my God. Okay. Well, we're here. My might as well do it right. One fish lips, big nose, good teeth. Uh, two big hat. Five fingers, a semi oval. Could I really use some music for this screen? Semi oval. Three looks like a doctor. Am I going to be able to pick these out? Three looks like a doctor. I'm going to get to this one in my notes and be like, what did I mean by this? What did I mean by it looked like a doctor? And the answer is going to be, uh, I don't, I don't know. Or this is bringing back many memories about this puzzle. You know, a lot of people chimed in on like the comments and stuff saying that this was one of their favorites. So, uh, another reason to, you know, I don't want to be miserable through it. I don't want to seem like I'm miserable. Unless I just can't hide, like I just I am <laughs> tongues sticking out. I can see it being really popular with uh, people that really liked museums. I mean, if you're super into the museum and you're like, "Hey, it's like going there, but not actually having to be there." Um. This kind of shit's just not fun for me unless I'm actually at the museum. Like, a museum scavenger hunt is is fine. A lot of the time, it was extra fine because I was missing school. I patch with an X in it. Somebody is snoring in my ear. I won't say who. Rectangular glasses. <laughs> yeah, it's Gerbert. <laughs> glasses. And small. Oval. On forehead. You have not missed much of anything. Really? We're going to, I honestly think we might be looking at this computer for a little while. Uh, mm -hmm. Harold tends to agree. Curly forehead. Forehead ornament. And peace symbol. Where is it? Curly forehead ornament and a peace symbol on cheek. Why didn't he include just pictures? I feel like that would be <laughs> that would have been super helpful. You can put fl you can put pictures on a floppy disk. Even if they're like really low quality, you could put a a, a tiny picture. 
I guess you probably couldn't put 17 of them. Nine has a beard or acne. Ten looks like death. Someone should do artist renditions of these without actually seeing them. Just just based on these. Uh, no nose. Movable jow. Oh my god, there's still so many more. Are you you're confused? I'm confused too. I'm just assuming that I need this information. I hope I don't need the names because I have not been writing the names down. Uh, Eleven is is frothing at the mouth. Three curly ovals on the head. So what are you guys up to? I'm assuming people out there are doing something a little more. 12 is just question marks. Oh, game dev sounds fun. Eating candy sounds fun. What kind of candy? 13 T on cheek. Oh, see, this all sounds like fun. Sitting with your cat. Me too. Oh, she is she is zonked. Uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 all look... Okay. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19... Look like original numbers put with a removable jaw. Look like OG. What does this mean? Numbers. OG numbers. But with jaw like 10. Assuming this will all make sense to me at some point. Okay. Oh, there's like a, a spammer in here. Hold on. I got it. I have to type in a reason? No reason. Okay. Yeah, I, I should not have to put a reason. I should just be able to ban. Oh, here we go. System login. This is helpful. All my mods are fired. All my mods are fired. Password is Space Baby. Go space, baby. Go space, baby. Curl show? Anybody? Anybody? Temple quizzes. Blah, blah, blah. Can't figure out the answer to level two quiz question about the matchmaker. And Hein Henrik isn't speaking to me right now. So either I'm blind as a bat and can't find the exhibit that has the answer or we just never put it in. Joanna is no help on this, so I'll just have to wait uh, for a horde of visitors, blah, blah, blah. Level three, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. It's a lot of... T okay, let's go to the number puzzle. 
Let's get that number puzzle out of the way, why don't we? Yes, these are Sonny's notes. Raiding Sanrio brushes. How <laughs> do I play this? Oh, shit. Can I get in here at night? Okay. Does it matter that it's night? Put the key put the keys away. Okay. So anything that's not a a dot or a line doesn't count. So does that this means this is one. Two would be two dots, no line, or big hat with five fingers on it. Uh, Semi-oval. Big hat with five. I don't, I don't think any of these look like fingers. Is that a fingers with a semi-oval? Possibly? Three? What's the... Oh, hold on. I'm off one. Zero, one, two, three. Three says it's a doctor. Is that this? Did I actually understand what the... I guess that's the doctor, right? Uh... Four. Oh, I see what they mean by the removable jaw. Four. Is this? Because I don't think this guy counts. Which would make this five. Uh, six. Six is eye patch with X in it. Seven. Eight. Curly forehead ornament and peace symbol on cheek. No. Uh, was this what so what's wait a minute wait a minute man it was going so well too uh or Four says it's got to be someone's tongue sticking out, or it's it's got to just be four. But I don't see... Oh, wait, no, this is four. I'm off again. Four is this. Five. Wrinkles, fancy hat. I don't see that. Five. Five. Six, eye patch with X. Okay, seven. Seven. Curly forehead ornament and peace symbol on cheek. This looks like curly forehead ornament, maybe. Uh, what number am I doing? Eight? Oh, no. This is eight. Eight. Nine. Nine just says beard or acne. So, I'm guessing this. Ten. 
10 is here. 11. 12. 13 is tea on cheek. 14, 15. Fifteen with sixteen. Sixteen looks like six, which is eye patch. This is seventeen, eighteen. That looks right. Oh, thank goodness. Oh my god. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Well, that's another thing off the list. I hope we all had fun. I had I had a lot of fun. I like the part where she said that looks right the most. I think that was the most fun. How did they get How'd they get so out of order? I'm glad we know how to count. Again, now! Sesg587, thank you for the prime sub. Is that looks right better than it's like? Yes, I mean, I'd rather her always just say it looks right because I don't have to do anything. Okay. Hold on, let me... Adjust. Match recorded narrations to appropriate displays. I think I can start doing that. Do I have any you voice? Have voicemail. Oh shit! Press zero to retrieve messages. Press nine for an outside line. Oh, thank goodness. Hi, it's Franklin Rose. I'm calling because it's just. This theft is very bad news for the museum. No shit. I can't imagine the limb we went out on to acquire that Pakal carving. It's been one of the museum's main attractions. Um, I don't want to take you away from your internship, but if you can do a little investigating, well, I think I speak for the whole board when I say we'd be very grateful. Give me a call when you have a chance. And Nancy, thanks. To replay messages, press zero. What was that guy's name? Nancy, hi. It's Franklin Rose? Do I know who Franklin Rose is? Okay. This theft is very bad. Oh, he's going to say the whole thing back. Who's Franklin Rose? What up, Preds? I'm doing all right. Franklin Rose. want to take you away Her dad's friend? Oh, is that... Is he the guy that got us the internship? I think I speak for the whole board when I say we'd be very grateful. Give Rose. me a call when you have a chance. And Nancy, okay. thanks. Dad's friend. Press zero. Press nine for an outside line. Do I know his number? He says call often. Or give him a call at least. Do I know his You have no voicemail. Press nine. I do. He's probably sleeping, right? Boswell, Jackson, and Rose, how may I direct your call? This is Nancy Drew. Calling for Franklin Rose, please. Just a minute, please. Nancy, hello. Do you have any news? The thief left a message in glyphs. According to Joanna, the translation is, The Magician <laughs> Suffers Yellow Death. What in the world could that mean? Oh, Nancy, you zero in on a case like a heat-seeking missile, don't you? I feel so much better knowing you're going to follow up on every lead. I'll help in any way I can. Thanks, Mr. Rose. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you for the assistance there. Okay. So, I got to do the audio tour thing next. It's my last job. If I can do the audio tour thing that I really don't want to do, um, hopefully I'll be done with that stuff. I just missed the sandwich shop. 
I would just much rather work at a sandwich shop. Okay, but how does it work though? Do I have to have like a specific? Oh. I use different methods to represent numbers. Here is an example of the numbers from zero to 19, from top left to bottom right. Dude, this Notice is gonna, some numbers are represented <laughs> this is bottom. gonna fucking, I mean, it's gonna be a lot of fun, okay? Uh, it's it seems like it's gonna be a lot of like back and forth thing between the exhibits and here, and I know we all really like going back and forth between a place over and over again. Okay, let's use the. We've got some so from the notes that should help. I don't know what A is, but I know that B is 8 okay E is 1 these are already set F is 6 uh, where are the other <laughs> where are the other uh, here we go H is 15 O is 11. Okay, I think the ones from his notes are correctly set. Already, yeah. I sure hope. Okay, and then I have this map that I copied. Did I guess list their, why aren't they in order? Why are they all over the place? Okay, so A is wrong. A, okay, I can maybe make this easier on myself. Let's go check A. Okay, so A is like some type of... It's locked. Oh, no, the plaques are right. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. A is... Radio used... Blah, 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 blah. Is F correct? F is correct. B, C. Where is C? C is outside. Okay. I wish I had more to chat about, but you're basically just going to have to <laughs> listen to me uh, get through this puzzle. C is this altar. Well, I need to find out. Actually, I need to check to see if they actually read it like word for word, right? Ritualized bloodletting was a common practice among Wait, that in this panel. That's not good. Cuz O was set correctly. Ritualized bloodletting was a common practice among the Maya. In this panel, three captives wear garments associated with bloodletting. A variety of instruments including stingray spines, thorns, and bone... Wait, no, that's right. Oh, for this activity. fuck. Okay, well, this is going to be more complicated than I thought. Because it matches, right? This is the right audio thing. Three captives. Three captives. 
but they're not exact. I thought it would just read the panel. So that's not going to work. Ritualized bloodletting was... Yeah, yeah, ritualized bloodletting. Okay, so I'll just do, like, keywords, I guess. A is the ham radio. C is an altar. Um, Two-headed crocodile, maybe? What is it? It's a two-headed crocodile. I just, I just said what it was. Mimba666, thank you so very much for the $10, the 1,000 bits. Yes, I finally get to catch a Nance stream, even though I slept in and just woke up. We'll get ready to be lulled back to sleep, Mimba666. Get ready, because the sleep is coming. <laughs> the sleep is on the way. Everybody get nice and cozy, get tucked into bed, and uh, get, <laughs> get ready uh, for this knowledge adventure. Let's let some blood... Okay, I think this is H. Or is this one H? Oh, this is going to be tough. What is it? Hey, what is it? Hey, why is buttercup popcorn? That one does not have a voice thing on it. I think this one's H. Grimbird12, thank you so very much for the $10. I'm a huge indie fan, so I'm glad to finally catch a live Nancy stream. This was the first Nancy game I ever played, so extra special for, special for me. Can't wait for you to play some of my faves, though. Thank you so much, Grimbird12. How did you feel about this? This was your first as a... As a you said it was as, as a child? No, you said it was ever played. You could play them later in life like me. Did you like this one? I think this is H. H is correct, so I don't need to fuck with H. H. Yeah, don't don't fuck with H. <laughs> Good life advice. Uh this is K. K is fine. This one, it's not. Played as a child and loved it. See, there you go. I don't want to dump all over this. Like, I, I just don't want to be bored. I just hate being bored. When I get bored, I get so bored, you know? Does that make sense? This is J. Uh, Archibald. Ruther bird. Uh, the call's ascension, maybe? Don't be a board. It's just not how I learn. You know, some people learn, can learn this way. I'm sure this game educated... Uh, some youths about the Maya people. I just don't learn unless it's in a song. If they want to sing the facts to me, then yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm all over it. <laughs> we already played Blackmore Manor. Right? Is that the one that doesn't have a VOD for it? There's one we've played that doesn't have a VOD. I don't remember which it is. L is good. Okay, let me... It's Blackmore. Oh, 
Oh, it's up? Okay, okay. Well, then I don't have to play Blackmore again. I can go replay some after we're all the way through. I'm not saying I'll never replay uh, Blackmore. I can't believe I did an 11-hour VOD. I, I, would, I would definitely be down to do another super long stream at some point. I just have to, like, be prepared. Okay, I need D... D is the numbering system. Would I do a tier list for Nance? Probably not. I don't think I can retain... Uh, I, I, don't, I can't retain my opinions for them that long. By the time I'm at the end of it, I'm gonna... There, it's all gonna be mush. I'm gonna be like, which game did that happen in? Which, uh... <laughs> Because they're all fairly similar, you know? N is good. G is not good. I think... I think my... Uh, I could maybe do some type of coverage on them that's not, like, ranking. Body shaping devices... I could find out a way to do some type of coverage. I just don't think ranking him is going to happen. Because I wouldn't be able to do it accurately. Okay, let's see if I can... Uh, let's see if I can one-shot this. I probably just jinxed it. <laughs> probably should not have said that at all. So I think I just have to fix five of them. That can't be right. The Maya use different methods to represent numbers. Here is an example of the numbers from oh. 0 to 19. From okay, that's top left. D. Maya scribes recorded the official history of the kings and queens. No. Nope. In addition to adorning themselves with jewelry and costumes, the Maya shaped their bodies to heighten their oh. beauty. That's G. These were dangled in front of infants' faces to encourage... Cool. The Maya ball game was a religious activity as well as a spectator sport. The date on this slab uses the Tzolkin, or divine calendar, made up of 20 weeks each with a oh, that's J. and 13 weeks each with a numerical day. The two types of weeks progress independently of each other. I didn't write down that word, but I know it was on J. Uh, 13... Strange supernatural creatures, sometimes called monsters, played an important role in... Two-headed crocodile? These monsters were often associated with the earth, caves, or mountains. The bicephalic monster, sometimes... Okay, what am I missing? One, two, three, four, five... Archaeologists work in some of the most remote yeah. areas of the world. Okay, A is and five. Are often the only mean A, B, C. C is 14. J. Oh, wait, B, C, D. D is seven. A, B, C, D, E, F. G is nine. And J is 13. There, that looks like it's in order. Fuck yes. And I didn't learn shit. <laughs> I didn't learn shit uh but you know i got it done let's save two puzzles down all right
Well, I, I got to find a way to do some, like, you know, I worked in some sleuthing, deductive reasoning in there. So that one was, that one, that ended up being okay. Not, not too bad. I thought I was going to have to go back and forth and, like, match the numbers and stuff. So, I'll accept that. Boom. Oh, now I have to do the quiz, though. Bah. <laughs> Cheated by taking notes. Oh, thank you, Jelly Bean. As long as Cranky Ian is, is accepted, it's fine. I just don't want to be a bummer, you know? Honestly, the streams where I'm, like, sleepy or cranky, I spend the rest of the day being like, man, I hope, I hope that wasn't a bad stream. <laughs> I hope I didn't just bum everybody out for a full three hours. What time is it? Is it night or is it has it's it looped hot. has it looped into day? Well, it's still night. Let's go to bed. Maybe maybe we've triggered something by uh, finishing off our list. Cranky is relatable. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> I wasn't even, I guess I wasn't even that cranky uh, last stream. I was just falling asleep. All right. Beep 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 Ultra cranky and sleepy stream. I'll um maybe when I do my next eleven hour stream, I'll get real cranky. Yeah, EP is a thing. EP is like the worst thing on the internet right now. It's so bad. I get so triggered when people say EP. Oh my god. I'm a little baby. I'm so EP. I hate it. I hate it. That's like baby roleplay. I ha <laughs> I will say I have friends who say EP and I'm still I'm still friends with them. Uh, but I think we all know that I, you know, I don't approve. You can't approve of everything your friends do. <laughs> uh, what if it's about a cute dog or cat? It still it still makes me want to vomit. <laughs> I don't have work to do. I finished everything. I've got work to do. Go to it. Okay. I guess I gotta do the quiz. And that's all my commentary on, <laughs> on that specific term. That is my entire... That's my opinion. Okay, let's go do quiz level two. It's locked. It is. It's a little it's a little old man yells at Cloud, but you know, sometimes it's not a popular opinion, but sometimes old people are right. <laughs> sometimes just cuz it's an old man yelling at the cloud, you know, sometimes EP is weird. <laughs> Okay, what am I doing here? The computer thing? <laughs> Sometimes the cloud is wrong. You can baby talk your cat. You can baby talk your cat. That's different. That's not being said to me. Space baby. <laughs> Oh, 
If you're saying EP, you're sounding creepy, okay? That's just how it is. I said I was done, but now I'm just, I'm here, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just continuing. Okay, did I have the answer to this one? Uh, this is last game. I feel like I got the answer to at least one of these. No, I did not. What is the name of Shield Jaguar's wives? I thought I did get one of the... I thought I did get this answer. Shield Jaguar's wives. Shield Jaguar. Okay. Is it in? Oh, is it going to be in this uh, Jet Jaguar? Uh, let's see here. God, this goes so fast. I'm not. I'm not uh, controlling this at all. It's just going. Let me know if you see anything about Jaguar Shield. Shield Jaguar. I mean. Flesh. Okay. Great little movie. Am I interested in, in Murder on the Orient Express game coming out? I don't know. I don't know that I know of it. I mean, I'm familiar with the, uh, like, the original story or whatever. Was it a movie originally? I guess I'm not that familiar. <laughs> it was, I know it was a movie. Was it a movie originally? It was a book? Okay, that makes sense. What's this other computer? Oh, shit, I can log in here now. Oh, it's Agatha Christie? Someone sent me Agatha, Agatha Christie games. I might have a Murder on the Orient Express game already. I do. I can see it from here. I've got three different Agatha Christie games. Are those good? Oh, that was from Sam. Are they, are they similar to uh, the Nancy Drews? Go space, baby. Go space, baby. Uh, please wait. Okay. Oh, shit. Dude. What were the other... Didn't I play the Agatha Christie games on stream? Not that I remember. Can I interact with... The controls flash by so fast. Shift, enter doesn't do anything. Can't walk through the trees. I don't think I played uh, Murder, She Wrote. I don't think so. I played a game called Lost in Time forever ago. That one, I think, I think that VOD is Lost to Time. What's my goal here? Amelia Darnell games? I don't... Is it like a timed experience? I just got kicked out. Hold control, something. It said something about holding control, but it happened too fast. Hmm.
Am I trying to get just like deeper into the maze? Oh no, this is where I came from, possibly? <laughs> Question mark? Yes, I think this is where I came from. Assuming I'm supposed to like ascend the temple or some sort. Am I liking the game? Yes, I'm liking the game better now that I've I've come in, I've made some progress, and now I'm in a 3D maze. I mean Oh shit, shift is run. Something was run. I feel like I went. Maybe not. So what's the deal? I thought that's where I came from, but maybe it's not. They should just make the Nancy Drew games 3D like this. That's a great, <laughs> it's a great I think everyone would really love that. <laughs> have they said if the new Nancy Drew is going to be uh, 3D or um... okay does that mean the game is over I'm looking for that thing I just stood on but I can't wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute what am I doing here gotta have my speed up hold control to speed up Oh, oh, okay. You have to hold control before you move to speed up. Okay, maybe I was making progress. Or maybe not. <laughs> or maybe not. Oh, wait, there's one. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. Okay, now I just got to do the quiz because I did this. I did the ball throw game. I just got to do the quiz and I should be able to get to level three. So I got to figure out who Shield Jaguar is. What was the point of this? Okay, so the point, uh, if we're a little lost on the plot, is that we are an intern at a museum, and we have been tasked with making sure this, like, quiz temple is beatable. Uh, so we're just doing what the like the students do, and each room has some uh, some quizzes and like activities that you put your card in, and when you get all of them, you can go to the next level. So that was, uh, I guess, a qu I guess that was a knowledge adventure. I'm not sure that I think it was a knowledge adventure, but I'll take it over some of the other. Uh, knowledge adventures I've been on so far. Shield Jaguar. If you're a museum goer, you'd be too lazy. I mean, I think it'd be fun to, you know, walk around a museum with like a little, you know, it's almost like a guide. Making sure you learn some things. I would like to do it in person a lot more than I would like to do it in a Nancy Drew game. Is my hang up, but. It's also just not. It's not part of the mystery. So. I wish I was working on Nancy Drewing, but I'm on my uh, internship. Uh, shit currently.
I never had an internship. I was supposed to when I was in film school. They were like, you got to get internships. That's how you make your connections. And, you know, they were right. That's not what I did, though. Dude, I do not find this guy's name anywhere. Uh, out back, I guess. So I did nothing. Well, I just did like. I did classes. I didn't carve out any time for, like, internships. I I was focused on graduating quickly and leaving. Shield Jaguar 2. Uh, no, wait, that's just, that's 2. And it's captives. So that's not, probably not what we're looking for. <laughs> They did a sequel. No. Rain God. No. I know he said that he didn't know one of the questions. I just don't know how I'm going to be able to tell. Which question it is. Oh, there we go. Lady Sock. One down. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Is it delicious, though? Uh, thank you very much for the $5, Wizard of Jizz. I don't want to say Nancy is a... I don't know this term. I always get <laughs> always get uncomfortable when I don't know a term. Hold on. Is this something that should be said? <laughs> Assuming this is just a hot term I don't know. Oh, okay. Nepo baby. Nepotism baby. Nepo baby? Uh, but she never seems to solve mysteries for her dad's friends that are poor. Cool. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was way cooler. Henrik! Henrik! Amnesia? Wow. Henrik must have taken a real nosedive off that pyramid. Do you think he just fell, Nancy? Or was he pushed? Sounds like you need to find out about hospital visiting hours. Yeah, but you'd better get the lowdown from Joanna first. George is right. She is your supervisor, after all. Well, that was sudden. Uh, we don't really know anything about that guy. Let me let me write down... Uh, uh, Henrik. Lab guy with mask. Uh, totally ate shit. Down the stairs. Some dangerous stairs. You got you got a bunch of students running up and down those stairs? I'm gonna say. Uh fall downstairs.
I actually don't know anything about Nancy Drew's history, so I can't I can't speak to the level of her uh uh privilege, <laughs> I suppose. Don't quote the Shoots and Ladders song at me while I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to drink my uh, G Fuel. Mmm, what a hamburger. All right, let's see what... Uh, I already forgot this lady's name. Let's see what... Wrong game. Let's see what... Uh, Joanna has to say. Put the keys away. Come in. First the call carving is stolen, and now my star glyph man bumps his head and forgets his own name? What's next, Nancy? Del Rio pulls the plug on the monolith, the board clams up on my funding, my mother posts my old prom pictures on the internet. What's, uh, what's in those prom pictures? Is she going to get canceled because of some uh, PG prom pictures? Take it easy. We do seem to be on shaky footing, don't we? What I need from you right now is action, <laughs> not commentary, Nancy. Will you follow up with the hospital and see if there's anything we can do to get Henrik's marbles back? Sure, I'm a doctor now. How can I help around here? You can also pick up Henrik's mail if he gets any. Keep the lab in order and just try to help me keep the entire museum from going up in smoke. It's a lot for an intern to do. I've got work to do. Go to it. Okay, let's go see him in the hospital. I don't want to do my museum work just yet. <laughs> let's get out of here. Um... Where's the hospital? Can I not go there? Oh, I have to call? Okay, well, I've got a phone. Well, I know where a phone is. She told me to phone, but I how am I supposed to remember what someone told me five seconds ago? If I don't write it down. I didn't write it down. You have voicemail. Press zero to retrieve messages. This message is for Nancy Drew. Hi, Nancy. This is Nurse Bluefoot calling from Eleanor Roosevelt Memorial Hospital in regards to Henrik Vanderhune. I believe you're a colleague of his. Since Mr. Vanderhune was admitted, he has repeated your name several times in states of semi-consciousness. As we've been unable to contact Creepy. any of his family members, we're hoping you might be willing to act as Henrik's support person as he begins the difficult process of restoring his memory. Please call me as soon as possible to discuss this. My direct line is 202-555-4000. Thank you. To replay messages, press zero. Just, you know... Just another day for a museum intern. Oh, was I supposed to fucking write that down? Oh, no. It was something 4,000. You have no voice. Nancy, hi. It's okay, good. Good, 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 good. I'm calling because it's... No, no, no. This theft is very bad news for the museum. No, 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 no. Imagine the limb we went out on to acquire. Oh, it's just five, 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 four thousand. The museum's main attractions. Um, I don't want to take you away from your internship. Throwback. You can do a little investigating. Well, I think I speak for the whole board when I say. Pocket Bear Illustrators, thank you for the fifty months. Fuck yes, fifty months. Only nineteen more. Just thought I'd pop. Oh. No, we're still just going. Just thought I'd pop by and say hi before going to bed, but I'll be listening to the stream. Hope you and chat are doing good. Thank you so much, Pocket Bear. I believe you're eight to skip. No. Since Mr. Vanderhune was admitted, he has. I can't skip at all. Several 
times in states of semi-consciousness. As we've been unable to contact any of his family members, we're hoping you might be willing to act as Henrik's support person as he begins the difficult process of restoring his memory. Please call me as soon as possible to discuss this. My direct line is 202-555-4000. Thank you. To replay messages. I got it, I got it, I got it. This is Nurse Bluefoot. Nurse Bluefoot, this is Nancy Drew. You left me a message regarding Henrik Vanderhuhn. How is he? Nancy Drew? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I'm so relieved. We've been unable to locate any family members, and we do like amnesia patients to have at least one personal support person when they begin reality orientation. What's reality orientation? Well, reality orientation is a kind of treatment that helps a patient get reacquainted with the facts and circumstances of his or her life. Nightmare. He's not actually lost his memory. It's just that his brain is injured in such a way that he can't access the place where the memories are stored. I see. So we need to help him find the trail of crumbs. Is that it? Exactly. First, we do repetitive memory exercises to help Henrik... That's what I need. <laughs> ...like his name and address, the name of his parakeet, if he has one, the date, and so on. Second, we try to stimulate Henrik's sensory memories in order to help trigger or find the way back to his cognitive memories. Where do I come in? You can't help Henrik remember his childhood, but you can probably help him remember his work, and who knows where that will take him. <laughs> All roads lead to Rome, as they say. One great tool is the Reality Orientation Board. This is a place to post information and pictures for the patient to look at over a period of time. You may want to bring in images or photos to place on the board. Things from the museum, perhaps. So I'm making like a dream board for uh, Henrik. Uh, vi yeah, visiting hours. Well, I'll be happy to help in any way I can. When are visiting hours? Visiting <laughs> hours are 10 to 4 every day. If the patient is not engaged in treatment and if he seems stable. Great. Uh, is there anything else? Just remember, Henrik's brain has been knocked around like a peanut in its shell. He may have attention difficulties, headaches, uh, anxiety. Sometimes this guy talks like an evil henchman. We need to keep these conditions in check. Don't push him too hard, or he may have some kind of meltdown. Oh, that sounds awesome. Well, the last thing we want is a meltdown. I'll go easy on him. Bye-bye. All right. 10 to 4. That's now. Let's do a quick save and maybe go uh, see if we can make him meltdown. Just going to save over fall downstairs. Let's go, uh, let's go fuck with an amnesia patient. Nancy Drew's favorite pastime. It was a joke. MJ complains about my jokes all the time. Oh, he looks fine. <laughs> Reality now. You look familiar. 
Is it time for my snack? Ye sure, yeah. Um. Hi, Henrik. I'm Nancy. We met at Beach Hill before your head injury. Beach Hill? Does it matter? Um. The only difference is including her name. Does that is is that too much information? Washington, D.C. The curator's name is Joanna Riggs. You were working there, and that's where your accident happened. 